Hello and welcome to another program of AQS Guild Buzz with Bonnie. And this program is sponsored by Handy Quilter. Today my guest is Annette Bracken from the Utah State Guild. And welcome, Annette. Welcome, thank you. Well, let's talk a little bit. I know you have a large guild out there in Utah. Tell us about the Utah State Guild. Well, it was started in 1977 with um, eight people at the original meeting and soon grew to, um, we've had over a thousand at times right now. I think a little bit because of COVID, we have four, a little over 400. We have 15 areas with 70 different chapters. And so we, yeah, we do have a large, a large amount of quilters that um, are affiliated with us. Okay, and so so your chapters, uh, they do they sort of work independently, and then you do some guild things uh, with the whole state guild um, that you work together on. Ah, uh, yes, to be a, a chapter under and part of the Utah Quilt Guild, they have to have at least three members of their group be members of the guild. Off, many of them have many more. Some of them are all, but you know it just depends on the guild, and they plan their own activities. The areas then, which are under the guild, they sometimes plan area um, quilt shows or workshops or things like that. And then as a state guild, once a year, we plan a yearly meeting and quilt fest where we bring in teachers and, you know, meet and have kind of like a convention. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I know that... Um, you have an interesting program out there that I wasn't aware of, and that is the Fisher House. Tell us what that's all about and, and what the Guild does for that program. Um, the Fisher House is um, is kind of like a Ronald McDonald house for veterans' families, so that when they come, say, to the, the here in Salt Lake, there's a, a veterans hospital, and when they come, they can have the family members that are here with their with their ill family members that are at the veterans hospital. They have a place to stay and can be there. And we've we've made a lot of quilts to help them. They um, give them sometimes to the people, and sometimes I think they're just on their beds. It's kind of you know it uh, decorates the rooms then a little bit, right? Yes. yes. All right, and so tell us about some of the other programs that your group does. Um, uh, some of the ones that I, we've really had a good response is that they do quilts to put in police cars, the trunks of police cars, so that when they go to a, a police call um, and there's a child involved, or even when it's not a child, they have some way to comfort the child or to cover someone who's hurt. And they just drain the police cars for any time the police feel like they need them. We also have made quilts for fallen officers. Anytime a police officer in the state of Utah dies, we, um, they have a ceremony once a year where they honor them and their families and we provide a quilt to give to the families of the fallen officers. Um, we've made quilts of valor, uh, which a lot of people are familiar with. And we've also done some for breast cancer. We also have um, the LDS hospital here in Salt Lake does research and they, um, we do a holiday quilt show and auction every two years where they um, auction off quilts that quilters have made during the two years previous to um, fund research, hospital research. And, and um, that's something we've really worked hard and we've raised a lot of money for them over the years. Sometimes the quilts have gone for astronomical numbers and they have actually wanted quilts to all be hand quilted. So everything that's donated to that is all hand quilted quilts. Well, and so how many quilts do you make for that organization then? Well, the, the state does it, but different chapters do it and even individuals do it. So I'd say they have, oh, uh, at least a hundred every time they do it, maybe even more. Um, they do big quilts plus small quilts, but they have quite a number and we've raised thousands and thousands of dollars for medical research for them. Well, I can see a thousand quilts at an auction would be a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that would be a lot of quilts. Um, okay, so uh, uh, we're going to just take a short message here from Handy Quilter 
And when we come back, I'm going to tell you how you can register for a free Handy Quilter sewing machine. Hey, it's Kim Sandberg of Handy Quilters Watch and Learn. We're offering a special deal for friends of Bonnie's Guild Buzz in Utah on Arc Ruler sets. Visit your local retailer or handyquilter.com for more details. Okay, welcome back. And so now we're going to talk a little bit about what your, your groups, uh, all these 70 chapters, are doing during these times of the coronavirus when we can't meet like we normally would. Well, I know a lot of the chapters haven't been able to meet. Some have met during the summer um, outdoors in parks and um, been able to do, you know, socially distance. They've done some of that. Um, a lot of them have been doing Zoom meetings. As a guild, we were not able to meet for our annual quilt fest in September, so we had to do it remotely. We did a remote fest, and then uh, we also did our annual meeting where we elected officers by Zoom, and um, that was different, but it actually worked well, and it was fun to see everybody again, so we've enjoyed that. We have had um, quilters making masks. Um, uh, the state guild joined with some of the local chapters. Some of the local chapters have done their own things, but as a state, we joined in that group that we all worked with probably made about 1600 masks that went mostly to um, places that couldn't get them readily, especially at the beginning that weren't medical, but they were maybe nursing homes or um, places that still really needed them but couldn't get them as easily. We, I know quilters around the country literally have made millions of cloth face masks, haven't we? Yes. Uh, well now, okay, so you were talking about your remote quilt show, and so that really was a virtual quilt show online, correct? Uh, yes, we did, we did classes that they signed up for, and then we also had, um, there had been a quilt challenge of a deck of cards that we actually had online. I, you can still go to uh, www.utahquiltguild.org and it's still up. You can see it online still. And as well as a quilt show of um, quilts that people submitted to be in the quilt. And they did lots of, um, they told about the quilts and they put up close-ups. It's very, very interesting. And the thing that was fun is people, there were some people that don't like to um, submit their quilts because they're afraid to, let them go and some of those people actually put their quilts in because they could do it without having to physically let go of their quilt and turn it to someone else so yeah was... they didn't have to ship it or drop it off or anything did they yeah. <laughs> yes well that was good well so now i told you that you all can register for a free handy quilter sewing machine and it is the hq 710 model it has 170 stitches built into it it has the nine millimeter wide foot, so you can do the extra wide uh, stitches. And it has a knee lift on it. The, the machine itself is worth $3,495. And so I'm going to encourage all of your guild members and everybody out there that's watching to go to quiltweek.com slash guild buzz and register for the machine. Also, we have a short little survey we'd like to have you fill out. And right now that survey is about online classes. And thank you again, Annette, for sharing with us information about the Utah Guild. Tell us how people, if they were in the area and wanted to join either one of your chapters or the Guild, what do they need to do? Um, the easiest thing to do is to go onto our website, which was um, utahquiltdeal.org. And... Um, there is a list of all the chapters and it tells um, who the chapter president is so that they can contact them and get in touch with them and, and join the guild. And as far as joining the state guild, there's an online membership form that they can fill out right there and, and we'll join them right up. Okay. All right. Well, so I want everybody to be sure to wear your masks. We want to get rid of this virus as quickly as we can. And this seems to be one of the best ways to do it. And uh, the quilters have been trying to protect themselves and all of you uh, by making masks. So wear your masks, wash your hands, and we'll see you next Wednesday afternoon for AQS Guild Buzz with Bonnie.